It really is an honor to welcome the Prime Minister of Greece to the capital of the United States. It's personal as well as official for me. Uh, official from the standpoint of the relationship between our two great countries. I congratulate the Prime Minister on his successes. I last saw him in, at Cap 25, COP 25 in Spain, uh, where we were there uh, about the climate crisis. I salute him for his lifetime commitment to protecting the environment and his leadership in the climate crisis. I also congratulate him on the economic success of Greece. Uh, working together, our two nations uh, can promote prosperity globally, security, and stability. Uh, the friendship between our two countries is an old one from the beginning of our republic, which was inspired by the democracy of Greece. I come at a time uh, when our relationship between our two great countries is going from strength to strength. Uh, we value this relationship particularly. It's a relationship with great strategic depth. Uh, it's a relationship that has been receiving bipartisan uh, support in Congress, and this is something that makes us particularly happy. And at a, at a time of great turbulence uh, in, uh, uh, in our part of the world, you can always count on Greece as a credible uh, and uh, reliable uh, partner. Uh, we are indeed two um, um, uh, old uh, republics, um, uh, and as uh, Greece will be celebrating in 2021 uh, 200 years uh, since the Greek War uh, of Independence, which was very much uh, inspired uh, by, by the Founding Fathers, it will be another great opportunity, Madam Speaker, to, to reaffirm uh, our, our commitment to the common values that unite our two great people. So thank you again very much for this very warm welcome.